I think it's officially time I start building a plane. So this is either going to be a really good idea or a bad one. Because uh, I don't think I've ever built a plane and actually recorded it. But here we are in Stormworks building the first ever recorded plane on the Neotastic channel. Definitely not the first one though. And I'm going to try doing this without looking at any other planes. Like this is going to be the hardest thing ever. Do not expect much out of me for a plane guys. I'm just going to let you know. So the first thing we're going to do is make this little line thing. And then let's see. What does a plane look like? Um, well I do remember one thing. Okay. The nose is normally a little bit more flat. Okay, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this just a little bit more flat, meaning um, it shouldn't curve out as much. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I'll show you. So we're just gonna grab these pyramids, even it out just like this. Awesome, looks great. And you guys are probably like, what kind of nose of a plane is that? I don't know, or I mean, I do know, but we're gonna see. Okay, so I'm gonna even it out just a little bit more on this one. And this one's gonna stretch out just a tad bit. So we're gonna do a little bit of a nose like this, so it curves up. Um, I don't really know what type of plane we're making. What, what kind of plane should this be? Let me know down in the comments if. I I don't figure it out this video all right so we got the nose of things done we're gonna go ahead and start on this part so this is where the evening and outs part starts to happen and there we go we got it to get it down to one block where we can officially curve it so as you can see here hold on uh we missed a little block thing there we go as you can see here we can grab a one by two and start placing it on this side and oh gosh okay so you definitely do not want only one flat part of the plane here let's spawn this in i'm gonna go check it out so um okay it's looking great okay it's not looking amazing, but it's uh, not too bad. Okay, so let's bring this back here, start working on it. And right here is when it's gonna really even out. So what I mean by that, we're gonna grab a, what's it called, a uh, one by four. So we're gonna grab a one by four wedge and just drag it like this. And this is going to be the last thing we need. So, or not, did I say last? Okay, absolutely not, but there we go. All right, looks amazing. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Honestly, this isn't looking too bad at all. I'm liking this. It's looking actually pretty sweet. Um, So let's see, we're gonna go grab this one by two here and we're gonna do a little turny thing like this um no idea what a turn anything means but yeah we're doing that and that's where the window's actually going to start at so we're gonna line the window like uh how tall our plane went okay well let's do this for now because i don't really know but it's looking pretty cool let's spawn this in just take a quick look it's gonna be a really small plane like i'm letting you know right now it's gonna be pretty small uh that looks kind of off what the heck okay i hope i can make this look better because something seriously looks wrong here yeah i don't know what's going on i don't know if this looks really that amazing okay this is devastating but we are gonna have to get rid of that little uh window part this is what the plane will look like okay the window is gonna be uh i don't know guys this doesn't look really that good okay you know what tear down the entire bottom part of the or side of the plane is this i don't know okay we're just gonna delete this apart and now we can grab this and like really angle it and this is gonna be exactly how we want it of course this is looking better let's spawn this in take a quick look at what i've been constructing um okay that's fine uh look at the front of it i think it looks better okay we gotta do some stuff obviously okay okay and then this is gonna be the giant side of the aircraft okay Okay, there we go so now we can spawn this thing in it'll kind of get like a little resemblance okay not bad not bad i think we're gonna go with the propeller plane for this one even though this kind of is giving me like a jet type of vibe and i feel like we should maybe even off this side a little bit more we'll see what we can do of course it doesn't matter oh my gosh this is claustrophobic okay so what i said in the beginning we're definitely gonna be making this thing a little bit larger okay okay i'm kind of um like in this design part we're doing here okay we got to cut out this interior part so we have as much room as possible possible uh not too much room because i just saw the outside right there that's probably a little bit too much fresh air on this thing we're gonna go ahead and grab a normal block here fill up the wall of this thing see if this uh little renovation thing i did helped at all on um, looks wise it isn't bad and then we'll have like um wait hold on i've just realized i don't think we can even have the windows be on the same like floor as the captain's is because look it's like kind of on that curvy part or wait would that work out i don't know okay we definitely have to make this roof area a little bit higher okay so something like this would make the roof like not look as small okay we're gonna spawn this in and check it out of course so we're gonna do our thing spawn it in and i think we could walk inside of it yeah we can okay that's cool we'll be at the ceiling right here awesome i think that'll be really cool okay this looks cool and all but like where do you guys think i should actually place these wings at because i don't really know a good idea well i guess we could just start randomly building them in like some random area and then move them back if needed so we're gonna start them right here grab some inverse pyramids and we're going to drag them out and what i drag blah, 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 blah. what i mean by drag them out is do the oh that did not go how i thought it would okay so we're not going to use that we're actually going to go ahead and use one by four so um hold on what do planes look like I promise i'm not looking at planes when i say that i'm just like really confused because like i have to like go back in my thoughts and think of what a plane looks like but i'm thinking something like this will look pretty good so we'll just do two blocks out like that and then let's see here after doing it two times we can completely like cut it off here and do 
exactly just that and then grab a one by four and then this is when it'll really start actually stretching outwards so we're gonna go grab this and then completely drag it out here decently far i don't know because this is gonna be how long the wing is so there we go that way yep there we go and this is currently what the wing looks like um wait do we want the wing to be like on okay i'm confused here we're gonna try our best we're just gonna say that okay we're just it's a plane it's the first time of me trying to actually build one here technically i don't think i've actually built uh many off screen and if i did they were really bad like i might show you guys at the end here my first plane i built because i do remember that uh, but these wings are looking kind of thick. I'm not going to lie. See, that's not too bad. I don't know. I just feel like the wings being on the bottom is kind of a little bit weird. And then at the end of the wing here, we're going to have just like four flat blocks that just go across for some reason. And then on this side here, we have to make this like go at an angle where it actually goes back into it. And what I mean by that is not that way. Hold on. Okay, so something like this. So now if I drag it back, it should kind of go back in the same orientation. I think that's the right word. I don't know. But oh, that is way too thin of a wing. Okay, yeah, no. Okay, so I feel like a wing like that wouldn't be too bad. And then we're going to this little part right here and we're going to want to switch it to this. Um, what's it called? One by two pyramid. All right. So normally the closer the planes are to the wing, you want them to be a little bit more thick. And to be honest, we're not going to be using those one by two things. We're just going to make it completely flat here and see how it looks and then fill up the wing uh, before we actually start doing anything here. Oh, oh gosh. I hate when it does this, when it actually doesn't like delete those extra blocks that we just did. Okay. We're going to delete all the ugly things and just add a little bit more blocks here. And I think we're good. And I don't want the wing to look too thick. So we're we're deleting all the extra blocks under it and all right maybe even a little bit more here we'll do it till about like right here and then we'll stop right there does that look good oh that looks actually pretty realistic i feel like on these wing tips we should maybe have them like flare a little bit upwards because you know how they do that really yeah okay we're gonna do that i feel like this is really looking like a jet type of plane like it looks like we're totally gonna be making a jet here i don't know guys i don't really want to make a jet let's go ahead and spawn this in and take a look at it all right imagine that thing flying at you do you guys think this would be more of a jet or a like a electric not electric a motor plane i don't know i feel like a modular engine on the side wouldn't look too bad but if we did do an engine we'd have to make it actually above the wing instead of below it which that might sound really dumb but that's just how kind of stormworks works so um center of mass and center of thrust kind of plays a factor here and now we're just smoothing out the bottom of the wing so it actually looks uh somewhat good so we're flattening it out there and then oh oh my gosh what kind of shape is this hold on um we're just gonna grab a piece this isn't gonna even work okay we're gonna put that there and it's gonna stick out on that end um what okay maybe we could just leave that part out or cut it off you know actually cutting it off isn't a bad idea great and now it's the easy part we just drag this all the way down until it actually stops going down which is right here make it flat and fix all the holes in the inside oh gosh it's this issue so we just cut off all the inside tissue parts and then put it here and then the microfibers will tear right there okay i sound like i'm doing some type of surgery but we're just gonna go ahead and flatten this entire thing out like that there we go okay from the back these wings actually don't look too bad i like this okay it looks really good these wings are looking super great i just realized how like small these wings look hold on oh my gosh how did why did i build them so small this is so ugly oh my gosh okay we're just gonna cut off this section of the wing and put it like four blocks back maybe like that honestly that is definitely gonna work okay i'm actually gonna throw up if this doesn't look good let's see here and that isn't bad we gotta fix this little flare issue though the wings are a pretty thick size now which is great and and, oh my gosh this is fixing okay i think it's about time we say construction is officially concluded on the wings um and okay well not exactly because we still need to make like the actual fuel tank for them that'll be in a whole different engine video i think yeah okay so i think uh next video might be where we add the engines for this thing and this will be interesting are the wings long enough um i think they are i don't know something just looks really off here i don't know what it is but please tell me maybe the wings are too thick now oh my gosh and then you know what i think we have to have this tail start actually rotating up upwards at around this length so there goes that side of the plane and this is the worst part of building a plane if i'm gonna be honest making the tail you guys don't know how annoying this is oh my gosh it is like the most annoying thing ever but here we are making the tail of a plane i can't whine because i definitely have to do it okay so we're gonna make it go um should we have it go inwards hold on i can't see anything inwards like that okay that isn't too bad i feel like that goes in like way too fast so do you guys kind of feel the same i don't know we'll see all right tail of the plane has been complete everybody take a look for yourself no i'm kidding that is not gonna be our tail i was just kind of like thinking here so i'm gonna cut off parts here so it'll go up so we're gonna delete that inside part then that inside part and then we run out of stuff to delete here so some it'll make it'll look really interesting and then i think at a point it just flattens out uh 
not in real life, but in Stormworks because, you know, planes are just kind of interesting to build in this game. I don't know how people make them like look so nice, but um, here's my plane. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This is one of the nicest planes I've ever seen. And if you have any uh, thoughts, please let me know down in the comments because I don't know, guys. I'm just thinking this thing is a beauty, even the back of it. Oh, my God. Oh, it's actually not looking too bad. And then right here is probably where you want it to actually end up spooling up at. So or spooling up. I don't know. OK, you want it to angle up and we're starting to do that now okay so far so good honestly it's not going too bad let's spawn this in take a quick look at it so as you can see it curves up but not only does it curve up it actually curves inwards a little bit and that's what uh you need so as you can see it curves in oh this actually looks pretty cool besides the wings wings need fixing i think they're too thick but the only problem with what you're looking at right now look at this area right here i bet some of you guys noticed that too that's gonna have to do unless uh, literally nothing i don't know i don't know how to fix that but it looks the best i could make it because i'm not even joking i spent a lot of time on it sweet we got the tail filled in and now we're going to line it up with blocks and let's go ahead and line up everything else up here with blocks because you know that's the goal here geez i could do this for a living you guys think i should uh build planes for a living i don't know i think i'm doing a pretty good job right now see we got a little bit of an issue right here uh, do we no we don't see look i'm an engineer already i got my degree in this stuff i got what three thousand hours on stormworks actually i think it's only around two thousand but yeah wait what's going on up here oh god okay so we just completely uh, deleted the tail part right there, which is fine. You know, we don't need that. That was not part of any engineering uh, designs or anything. Okay, so we're going to delete that, put this here, and then we got a little bit of a quarter piece. Um, how should we do this? Oh, God. You know what? I have a good idea because I'm an engineer. So we're going to go ahead and place that there. Delete those two blocks. Grab a one by three. You guys probably already know what I'm doing because it's this is like a big old neotastic move right here. Put this little thing here and done. Engineering issue fixed. We got a lovely plan on our hands here. Um, This back part's getting a little bit concerning on how thin it is. Here, I'll show you. It's literally the size of an Oreo mint. Oh, Oh my gosh. Okay, we have another issue. Okay, this one we did not plan to happen, but as of now, we're going to do this because I think the rudder might take this entire position back here, so it really doesn't matter what we do. It'll look good at the end probably, so we're going to delete that. There we go. And you know, speaking about rudder, how about we actually start building the rudder now? So the rudder is just going to be a big old thing that sticks up like this, and that's probably really tall. We're going to delete half of that and then grab some 1x4s, and we'll line it straight to the top of this thing. Um, We'll line it to there. We'll switch to a 1x2 here at the top, so it'll look really really nice okay rudder has been almost complete now we got to delete that back area grab a control fin all right and then we're gonna grab the largest one possible and oh my gosh okay way too large Me the medium one will do it and here we go perfect actually that's not perfect it does look like we have an issue up here but this will work perfectly because i'm an engineer we're gonna put this wedge right here and then drag it all the way back look at that look how smooth this look oh it looks so nice okay this is coming together a little bit better than i thought it would which is uh normally good in the neotastic words here but i'm I'm a little bit concerned on what we're going to do with this top roof area because it definitely needs to be here just so we have a little bit of headroom in the captain's area so um let's see if this will work okay so what we can do we got a lead to there we could have this entire place be fat uh, flat and then we're gonna grab a one by four line it back here is this what they do in real life i feel like this is kind of what they do okay and then we'll flatten out the ceiling bond this in take a quick look at what i've oh my god okay that did not look kind of how i wanted it to um so it's not not too bad i don't know if i like how that goes down but if it didn't go down honestly i don't really know what we should do there and then this is the front of the plane okay interesting here you know what i think we might just be able to pull something off here with this tail um it's not gonna look beautiful at all but we'll, we'll see or it might that's our goal of course so we'll do something like this it'll go even more inwards oh my gosh and then we'll grab this perfect and fill it all the way back here and then as you see, we're having an issue. We'll just delete all this. And then I do remember that was like four blocks by three long. So I'll grab a one by four here and line it straight to the top. And then we're going to have an extra two blocks right here. We're just going to go ahead and slam down a one by two wedge thing. And awesome. All right. Ooh, that looks actually pretty good. I think we fixed the majority bad looking stuff of this plane. That was definitely one of them. I'm so thankful we fixed that because it looks even better now. Better than ever. This is looking so great. Okay, let me know down in the comments right now. Do you guys think this should be 
a jet plane or a modular engine plane. Honestly, I could not tell you if I wanted to. We got to make these wings longer. I can confidently say that. All right, the king god is done with building his wings. Let's go ahead and see how this thing looks. And okay, not too bad. Not bad at all. Um, Definitely some fixes I could probably see here and there that you guys are saying in the comments right now. Please type them. But let's see, where should we put this thing's door at? Uh, Right here, perfect spot. And then we'll have some maybe emergency exits on the wings. And we got to start on this thing's interior today. Or we're not going to build the interior. We just need the flooring. So let's go ahead and find the perfect spot for a floor. So we're going to make just some test flooring kits right here. Um, Yeah, I think two is good. All right, so let's see. Which floor do I like better? This one right here or this one right here? When your head's hitting the ceiling and it's like really hard to walk. Um, I think I'm going to go with this higher one. I don't want this plane feeling like super claustrophobic, but this kind of brings it to like the perfect height. And then we can put a ton of stuff under here, including the landing gear, is, which is perfect. We've got a lot of room for that and a lot of other stuff we could probably think of. And we're going to bring the plane all the way to back here and then completely block off this area because this will probably be like the APU. That's normally where they have this at. And this will be a door on both sides. This is not going to be waterproof. Uh, normally I waterproof my doors, but um, I don't know. That seems kind of unnecessary. Maybe we'll make like a waterproof version of this plane and it's going to be like the ultimate nuclear survivor plane. I don't know. I'm kind of like, you know, I like stuff like that. Okay, so we have the window there. Let's kind of start, see what's going on in here. And then we'll have like some type of flight attendant thing right here. And then a three block walkway we can perfectly walk down the aisle on. I'm already thinking uh, this should probably be like a passenger plane. I'm kind of getting that vibe. So this is going to be the first Neo Air passenger plane, I'm thinking. OK, so I'm sorry if you already typed your uh, comment in for what this plane should be, but I kind of have a good idea on it. And then we're going to put some holes on the side of the plane here. And this is where some windows are going to be. So we're going to have some first class up here, of course. And there we go. These will be the windows for the plane. That's kind of a lot, but I think it looks pretty realistic. And then here are the windows of the jail cell honestly this is what kind of looks like um wait that actually isn't too honestly it's not too bad they look like jail cell windows but like uh, from the side here i'm kind of getting a view i feel like it's not too bad but there's really not a whole lot of stuff we can do to make that look um much better i feel like it's a good starter plane you know oh it looks so nice i can't even imagine okay and then we're gonna jump in here this is where everything will go down at so we probably shouldn't say that but look at this wow this is sweet then we gotta delete this top block right here because that was actually getting in the way we're going to type in door and we're going to grab a sliding door. OK, so sliding door. We want the big boy door. So we're going to grab this one and slam it. Oh, perfect enough room here, right? Perfect enough. Uh, is that a word? OK, well, it turns out this is indeed is not the perfect uh, enough door. So we're going to go delete that. And now it will be so we can place the door here, which is um, cool and all. But now we have this like giant area to deal with. So I think we might have to add like some type of cool looking swing down door, which I am not going to be uh, sad about. I think it's going to be pretty cool. OK, so we're going to go ahead and start on this i don't know how well i kind of have an idea so we're gonna grab a robotic pivot line it all the way to the ceiling here and then um should we just fill this with blocks that wouldn't be a bad idea fill it with blocks right here right here and then right here there we go and then we can have like some type of throttle here and it'll swing it up and down and then we're gonna go uh, minimum value reverse one and here we go it should all work crap forgot to connect it all right which way will i have to turn it not that way this way great and then it swings down like that and then we'll have another curvy one right here and it'll swing it down just perfectly and it'll go straight to the floor but it will only go to the floor when the landing gear is not deployed so you might have to climb a little bit for the ultimate test here we go we'll drag it down like this all the way and then it'll drag it down even more. Why does it not go the other way? Oh, I forgot. We can just never have something work the first time. Okay, we're gonna drag that down and then drag this. Oh, perf. Oh, way too much, way too much, way too much. Okay, calm it down with that. And this looks kind of interesting. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad though. I mean, I'd say it looks kind of realistic, but I feel like this entire thing would swing down even more. And wait, I just thought of something. This is actually watertight. This entire plane I just made is waterproof because we added this door here. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I guess it's a waterproof plane, which is uh, nuclear radiation proof. Okay, I added even another throttle. So this will go that way all the way down. This will go just a little bit down and then this can go. Wait, hold on. Wrong one. Wrong one. OK, that'll go back up. And then this one will bring it all the way. Ooh, this is perfect. And then it's even touching the ground. So when we have the landing gear, it'll work even better, honestly. And then we're going to walk up here like the private businessman we are. We don't even have to jump. And here we are in our private jet or whatever this is. Is it a private jet, guys? Let me know down in the comments if we should make this a private or public airline. I don't know. Private kind of seems cooler, but let me know. And of course, let me know what we should add to this 
this thing next and what kind of aircraft should it be should it be military or private jet or passenger i don't know we're kind of going all over the place but that's probably gonna be it for this building video i hope you guys enjoyed we probably have to make a separate one on the landing gears those are like pretty crazy make sure you guys go out, like subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description and go follow the tiktok account we're at 140k followers almost but thanks for watching and goodbye